Most of the creators in the world, when they start to try and really build a business, will not have an issue with posting to one platform. The real issue will come when they try to go from one platform to multiple. To do that, you have to have some sort of content management system, something that allows you to put out a ton of content at scale without getting stressed and without being overwhelmed. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to build that using a platform called Notion. You wanna spend more time creating the content than you do managing it and figuring out how it's gonna get out into the world. And if you don't know who I am, my name is JT. I make a lot of content that helps creators turn themselves into businesses. I also consult on some of the biggest businesses in the world, teaching them how to get more efficient with their content. Let's check this out. So the first question to ask is what is Notion and do I need it? I'm an absolute Notion fiend. My entire life and soul is <laughs> uploaded into Notion. I use it all the time. I use it for everything from our entire company being on it to also my own daily personal journal and writings and little notes and all of that stuff. I love Notion. Notion considers itself a project management software. I kind of look at it as like a, a Google Sheets mixed with Google Docs, Asana, Trello, all of the other systems that people use. It's got everything. It aggregates everything into one. It's also really fun because you can customize so many of the looks. So it's almost got a little bit of MySpace feel in it. Anyways, I love it. So as a creator, you're trying to optimize for time. So what I do with my team is we have our content system that we will upload everything in. We will keep it really organized so that that way I know I can just be filming and whenever anything is done being edited, I know it's done and I just take that link, save it to my phone and upload it. So if you open up Notion and you go to create a new page, you're gonna wanna click this little table database. Create a new one. Let's just title this one content system. Then there's gonna, be, there's gonna be these columns here. First one will be a name and then the other one will be tags. What I look at is the name right here is the name of the video, like a single piece of content. Then the other ones that you wanna make, first one for me, you're gonna click this little select thing and go into single select. And this is gonna be the status of what platform it is. This is where you will pick the platform that you are using. So if you are using multiple, you're gonna wanna add each of them. So we have YouTube, then we'll edit it, and we'll add these little statuses. Basically the question that you wanna ask yourself is, what needs to be done now? So I ask myself, what needs to be done now? Outline. After outline, it would be film, then it would be edit. If the edit doesn't look good, it'd be needs revisions. And then it'd be post now. And then it would be posted. You can come up with your own set of statuses. Maybe you need two rounds of revisions. Maybe you need to write something out. Maybe you need to research. So you customize this area yourself. This is how I do it though. Now I have this, outline, film, edit, revise, post, and once it's completed. And you can color code these, you can change them to all different colors, however you want. Once you've done this and you've color coded it the way that you want, you'll go back and you'll click where it shows the list of properties here. You'll click on one of them and you'll go duplicate property. So what I think about is like, how many different platforms am I on? So if it's YouTube and Instagram and LinkedIn and TikTok, duplicate it for those four. So you'll duplicate it a couple of times, you'll see that it pops up here. So then you just go in and I'll change it to Instagram, change the next one to LinkedIn, change the next one to TikTok. And now you have your four different columns for the statuses. The other super important columns that I think are critical for just people that are starting out. The first one is to include a link to where the footage folder is. So same thing, you'll click a new column, you go over, there's a little URL one, you'll add that URL, and I just put like link to drive. This could link out to a Google Drive, this could link out to, link out to an iCloud, this could link out to whatever you want. The next one that I typically do is some sort of a date. Some people, like to plan out and have an actual like filming date and an editing date and a posting date. That's how you can get into a little bit of a schedule. 
Other people just want to have a single f date just to post it. Other people don't care about the posting date and they just want to film it. So you have to think about what's important to you, but I like to include some sort of a date. So you'll do that same thing, click the column, click date. You can format the date full. You can do it by just relative where it'll say like two days ago, three days ago, a week ago, where it's relative to the date that you actually create it. Or you could have it structured in a s different type of way. The full date will include the actual time of it as well. I don't really care as much about the actual time being included. So I just do month, date, year, and do it as the date of filming. So now that you've added all of that, if you were to go in and you were gonna film a video for your first time or even write out an idea, here's what you would do. You would click new, you would type out a title. Let's just do how to film content. Then you can open this up and you can see all of the different toggles right here. So you could add a link to your drive. You could pick the date that you're gonna film it. You could pick the date that you're gonna publish it. And then you can show the status on all of these where it's like you need to outline it. And then say you've got the outline done, you can actually take notes in here. So what I'll do is I'll write out all of the notes for a video here. Then I'll come in and if I need to film the TikTok, then I'll mark it as film. And then you can see that on here where it shows like the actual status of the video. Now let me just show you the cool things that I think you can do with Notion that are hard to do with something like Google or you have to do with a handful of different platforms together to get this same kind of experience. On Notion, once you have this table filled out, then you can add these other views to it. So I just wanna show you these two, board and calendar. This board one is called like a Kanban board. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it, but that's what it looks like. And it basically like groups these by different categories. So this one right now is grouped by status of a certain topic. So this is grouped by status of YouTube. You can change this to what, grouping it to whatever you want, but let's just pretend that this is one is literally just to be showing you like how your YouTube content is flowing and where you want things to be posted. So this is all grouped by the status of YouTube and you can actually look at this and you can drag it say you just outlined it and now you've actually filmed it and it's ready to be edited, you can actually drag it over. So you can imagine with a bunch of these videos, that's just a nicer view for you to be able to see different things. It, and it kind of gives you like a different way to prioritize things and move it around. The last one is this calendar view where if you have any sort of a date, like I plugged in before, if you go back to that table view, if you see that it's date of filming or date of publish, you could actually have this calendar be like your publish calendar and you can see when things are getting published. So it's just an easy way for you to go in, see all of the things on your calendar and know, oh, on Wednesday, this is getting published. And anytime that you change this, so you know, this is now changed, this is now changed, you're gonna go back and you're gonna see now this has moved. So it's just a different view. So I know that that can sound like a lot, but I wanna show you what it looks like when something like this is completely filled out and you can see just how much easier it makes it for you to know what kind of content to be posting. So this is like our content hub. This is like, this is actually a template that you can get. I'll put the link in the description so you can check it out. But you can see like on here, I have all of our content ideas on this table. I also do a separate one for my writing because I just look at it a little bit differently. But you could keep it all on one, doesn't matter. But you could see how it looks nice. Like how do you know your value as a creator? And then the TikTok status is published. Twitter status, I'm in writing it still. YouTube status published. LinkedIn status, it's in editing. When does this need to be filmed? January, when does it need to be published? It has it all plugged in there, so you can just come in here and immediately see this. It also shows these other viewpoints where you can see it in a list, you can see it in a gallery, you can see it in that calendar like I showed you before, you can see it in a calendar here. Boom, 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 you know that things are getting posted. You can also see it on a board, which I think is honestly my personal favorite to come in and be like, oh, all right, I'm done with everything that I've outlined. Now I've got things outlined, I'm filming them. There's a couple things that are in editing and I published a bunch. And here, let's look at these ones that have been published. So it just streamlines the process of content for you. That makes it easy for you because as a creator, you want your time to be spent making the content. If that's writing it, if that's filming it, if it's taking photos, whatever it is, you do not wanna be bogged down by the actual back end of content management. So it really helps to have some sort of solution like this using Notion or whatever platform it is that you like. I love Notion, but whatever it is for you, it helps a lot to have efficiency in your content management. I hope that that was helpful. I would honestly love if you guys have any other Notion things that you wanna hear about 
We do all of our stuff in Notion, and I would love to share more with you guys. I'm gonna put links to these and updated ones in the description, and I would love for you guys to chime in on anywhere that we can be of service. Much love, thank you.